Hello, welcome to my channel. If you come here look for the solution to the sign-in option is disabled because of failed sign-in attempts or repeated shutdowns. You're in the right place. Cause this video is here to help. The first solution you can try is to follow the instruction. Wait for about two hours and try your PIN or password again. See if it works. However, if you want to access the system right now, try the next method. As you may notice, there's no I forgot my PIN option on the screen in this situation. So, we need to get it back. First click on the power icon and put your PC to sleep. Wait about 5 seconds and press the power button of your computer to wake it up. After that, you should be able to see I forgot my PIN. Click it now. Wait a moment and it will lead you to a Microsoft sign-in page. Now, enter your account password and click on sign in. Then, it will ask you to verify your identity. It could be phone number or email, depending on your previous setting. For me, it's email. Now click on the email account and then you'll get a security code in your inbox. Once you got the code, enter it into the box and hit verify. This might take a while, let's just wait. Confirm this message and then you can reset the PIN. After that, click OK and your PC will boot into the system successfully. However, if you ran into some trouble and failed to reset the PIN, you can also try EASUS PIN Removal Tool. But first, you should prepare a USB drive and another computer that is not locked. On the accessible PC, go to this page and download EASUS Partition Master. Then, insert the USB drive into this PC and open EASUS Partition Master. Go to the toolkit and select Password Reset. It'll ask for your permission to make the USB drive a bootable media. So, make sure there's no important data on that USB. After selecting your USB drive, click the Create button to start the process. This procedure may take longer than you think, so be patient about it. Once it's done, click OK, eject, and pull out your USB drive. Then, connect your USB drive to the locked PC. Power up the computer. When you see the manufacturer logo, press the BIOS key immediately to access the BIOS menu. For me, it's F2 or Dell. Here, we find the boot priority. Some may show as boot order. Now we set the system to boot from the USB drive that I just connected. Wait a couple of seconds. It'll lead you to the desktop and EASUS Partition Master will automatically start. Now you can go to the toolkit and select Password Reset. Then, find your account from the list. Select it and hit Reset and Unlock to remove your PIN. After that, you can restart the PC and the system should allow you to enter the desktop without PIN or password. I hope this video is useful to you. If it is, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.